The new one-wheel GTS series, or the GTS as I'll call it for short, recently released to much fanfare and quite the change in tone since the GT released not that long ago. The S is for safety. No! The S is yes. for safety. The S for is Satan. obviously for Satan. For $3,200. $3,200! I mean, that blue's gotta add some torque, right? right. Okay, okay. You're conflicted oh. now. Conflicted guy now. <laughs> it was straight up GTS. Oh, for sure, a couple days ago. <laughs> and now it's like, I could consider more options. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I would say for a flagship, first out of the gate, fully built board coming from Tony and Float Wheel. You did a good job, man. You know, obviously recently we sued a knockoff company, right? The American thing to do at this point in time is if somebody comes up with a better product than you is to sue them out of existence using your patents. And that is exactly what Future Motion decided to do in this particular instance. I, I heard Kyle in a, in a podcast said that uh, they do a lot of dyno testing. Did you really dyno the flow wheel and release the GTS? I mean, it's a lot more expensive than the, than the ADV here and it doesn't even perform in any category range the ADV is got about twice as much almost twice as much of range when it comes to board sports uh, reputation is everything and, and um, it's your community that can output, really make or break you beats, and then number uh, two the innovation can't happen in a vacuum Total power output competition is this good is and and bullshit not only this company is trying to put other competition generally tends to that they realize that this is a possible for a high power, high capacity board. What most people have been doing is taking the smaller XR frame and upgrading it with a larger battery casing. My intention instead has been to take the flat aluminium lid with 3D printed casing design, which everyone's used on VESC one wheel XRs, and instead apply it to the GT frame. Look at the difference in thickness between where this foot pad sits and where the aluminium lid sits on one of my flat lid casings. You can just see here the obscene amount of thickness that you're removing just by using a completely different foot pad design that concaves down below the rail line. Interested in this board and interested in the idea of building a board like one, head to Val.Systems for a full guide and also details on how you can acquire all of these parts make them yourself or purchase them from my workshop. Uh, if you want to chat, then feel free to message me on Instagram, comment on this video, or uh, perhaps reach out on Discord as well. I've got a full server going with everyone helping each other out. It's awesome. It's been great so far. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for paying attention. See you soon.